Hello everyone, this is Jade Noble back in again with another video. And today I have another um, very troubling video for you all. This is another scam, um, eBay coin scam that I found uh, while I was just searching for coins uh, to possibly purchase on eBay. And uh, this seller actually has two, if not three, coin scams uh, listed currently. And I will be reporting this seller and I, um, and I will be asking them to take it down. I want to show you all this. And if you do happen to run across this listing, please report it and um, please ask a seller to take it down because I am almost certain it is a scam and that the coin is fake. And uh, I wanted to start by looking at the casing. So as you can see, this is a supposed 1872 Carson City, graded a PCGS AU50. Um, if this coin was truly a Carson City um, seated dollar, this would be worth a lot of money because these were extremely rare and they hardly minted any of them. Um, but guys, as you can see, and I have the exact same uh, holder, basically. It's basically the exact same uh, generation holder. Just do some comparisons but if you can look just like the last video i showed there's an there's always this issue of spacing on this you can see the gaps in between the pcgs and the au50 look at how big the gaps are and also on the 1872 and then the slash carson city if we look at this coin you can see that there is hardly any spacing in between any of the uh, the letters and numbers. So you can see the difference. Huge difference there. Um, I will say though that for some odd reason they kind of got the, uh, the spacing close on the uh, the letter uh, the numbers down below, which is kind of interesting that they're a lot closer. But you can see that on the top numbers there's still way too much space. So that's completely wrong. And then on top of that. You can see here how the coins hold held. There's like uh, these huge holders. There's like four of them holding it. I don't even know what's actually going on with this. There's like a little one there and it's kind of just thrown in. But look at this guys, there's three big holder spots with uh, three gaps. You can see hold there, hold there, hold there and then gap, big gap, big gap, big gap. There's just these little gaps on this holder, completely wrong. Now, on the reverse of this coin, they do get it pretty close. They seem to get the reverse somewhat close, but they are missing the uh, QR code actually, which is kind of funny. So I'm not sure, they kind of screwed that up. So there's another um, strikeout. And then what the biggest glaring error on this coin, if you don't want to, uh, believe that the coin's fake, but it says it's a Carson City. And I know PCGS has done this before, but it's very rare, especially on a rare coin like, I mean, on a coin like this, they probably wouldn't make this mistake because the difference in value is crazy, but there is no CC mint mark on this coin. It would be down here. Um, so yeah, this coin is a complete fake in my opinion. Uh, the holder's fake, and I believe the coin's fake too. You can see the detail on this coin is just, there's a lot of like pitting. It looks very pitted. I don't know if it's the grainy photo or not, but the pitting, there's just, the detail is not as sharp as it should be, even for an AU50. Um, there should be wear, but like the coin just looks hazy. Like it's got pitting, like environmental damage, but I don't think it's environmental damage. I think uh, the design's lacking. Look how flat the eagle is on the back here. I mean, it's super flat. It's just a hazy, like the strike on this coin's really bad, really weak. Um, the lettering is just fat and doesn't look right at all. Look how fat the lettering is. Just, it's completely off in my opinion. And uh, these seated dollars are extremely valuable. So uh, this guy is uh, definitely interesting that he would try to be pulling this knowingly, especially when you have 100% feedback on 1,283 um, feedback. That's very concerning to me. But not only does he have this coin, 
That is a, a scam, but he's actually got at least one more, if not two. And this one, same exact problem. This is a Trey Dollar 1874 CC. And again, if we look, the spacing is off. Um, there's too many gaps in between the letters. See the difference? See how close they are on this? This is a legit slab. This is a legit coin right here. The letters are extremely close. On here, there's pretty good sized gaps in between each letter. Not only that, the biggest telltale sign is how the coin is actually holdered. They do not do this type of holdering where there's like four big holder spots. They've always done these three, at least in the modern ones. Uh, on the older ones, it's different. Like the fatty, uh, on the uh, rattler, it just kind of was in the holder. But on any of their modern ones, there's three that hold together. And this is the same. Um, it's supposed to be the same um, style holder, it looks like. And I just realized there's another issue. But there is no PCGS lo uh, engraving there on the bottom. You can see on here at the bottom here, there's supposed to be a PCGS engraving, engraving, and there is no PCGS engraving. I think it was the same on the other one too. I didn't even realize that, but this is a complete scam, guys. Um, even looking at the coin, I mean, I, it, it's funny though that they would do a genuine on this, but this is an extremely rare coin that's worth a lot of money as well. Um, so it's still could bring an extreme amount of money, and I think they're trying to make it make you fall for it because it doesn't even have a uh, letter grade. It doesn't even have a number for the grade, which is kind of interesting. But it again, it, the pitting on this and just the detail on it is just, it's just not right, the coin itself. Um, and look, same exact thing. It's like super flat. And look at how fat the letters are. I mean, any older US coin with that flat of letters, with how fat they are, um, that's just not how our coins were struck. Coins were struck much sharper and uh, the detail is a lot better. Overall, I know that this coin was meant to be circulated, um, but, and this one actually does have the CC Mint mark, so that is a plus, I guess, but um, the holder's fake. Again, you got the same issue. Uh, the QR code, I think, is supposed to be back there. I don't know. I do believe some of the holders might have that. Let's see, they might have combined two holders. I have another one that's... I don't know. I You guys comment below if they do have uh, this on them now, on the most modern ones, because I'm not 100% certain. I, mean, I thought they had the QR code, but they might actually have that on them now. So that might be more accurate, but there's so many flaws with this holder on top of that. So guys, I just want you to be extremely vigilant and pay attention to when you are uh, searching for coins, especially if they're extremely high dollar like these two coins, an 1874 CC and an 18, um, supposed 1872 CC, which doesn't even say it says CC on the holder, but there isn't even CC. But guys, another one, and I would completely stay away from this coin because this coin, if it really was an 1893S Morgan dollar graded uh, mint state, this coin would be worth like $100,000. And I would not even touch this coin at all. Um, I mean, you can look at the coin Kind of, there is some scratching on it and stuff, but if we look again with the lettering, I go back to the lettering. The lettering is just, it's just not the same to me. And like the clarity of the strike is just not there, but this is a very high end coin. So they did a decent job of trying to make it look somewhat real. But if we kind of look at the head here, like the cap here, look at how it just kind of just, the strike just goes away. 
If you look on this coin, look at how defined the head, the cap is. Look at how weak that is. On a mint state coin, I don't know, guys. And then on the reverse, the uh, coin just looks funny to me. Um, one thing is the photo's grainy, and he kind of makes it to where you can barely see the S mint mark on there. I do not have one, uh, this coin, to compare. Um, I guess he does have that. Okay, that's a little bit better photo. But, guys, I mean, I would stay completely away from this coin. It is... I'm trying to compare it with the Morgan dollar I have. It is, it's a decent replica, it seems like, compared to real one, but there's still, there's just a lot of issues with the seller and to be selling a coin like this raw as mint state. And I, I think really the, the date kind of throws me off. Um, I have, 1893 but it's a uh, Carson City hmm. it's I mean it's not a bad replica it's not a bad replica but guys I mean this guy has so many issues and I think that caps kind of the biggest giveaway for me at least on this coin the cap is the giveaway that's the true giveaway on this coin in my opinion you guys uh, can look at it too but look even on a vf25 look at the cap you can see it was so good in there it just faded away it's just not even there men state coin would never have a cap that looks like that so guys i mean these are probably all scams um and buying a raw coin i would never recommend buying a raw coin like this on ebay especially if the guy has a starting bid at $2,000 or best offer. Uh, this is the key date in the Morgan Silver Dollar Series, and he doesn't even have it listed for anywhere near what this coin would be worth if it was real. So um, I just wanted to go through these scams. Um, if you see these coins on eBay, please report them, and please message the seller and tell them to um, take them down because these are all scams, and it's terrible because these coins are super high end and uh, these coins could possibly go for thousands of dollars because they're that rare. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, please be very careful. Just because it's in a PCGS holder does not mean it's real because there are fake PCGS holders and they're getting extremely common right now because this, these are the, this is the third time I've seen fake holders. So. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below on your thoughts on these, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.